if this was a thyroid gland, and it is because you could see little follicles here and here and here and here and here and here, but it seems to be disrupted by these uh, fairly well-defined lymphoid follicles. If this was a thyroid, you would call this Hashimoto's thyroiditis, and then just uh, look at your next slide and keep going. But if you decided to look at the rest of the thyroid gland, you would also see that there are structures in it like this that perhaps look like a little papillary structure. In fact, let's back up quite a bit and you can see these are indeed well-defined papillary structures. In addition, like in many papillary tumors, you can see that some of these little papillae uh, dry out and calcify to become these little uh, concentric calcified bodies called samoma bodies. Now let's make uh, this very, very simple and I hope not to hurt anybody's feelings or insult anybody's intelligence. Everything papillary in the thyroid is cancer. If there are papillary adenomas of the thyroid gland, nobody is, uh, has enough guts to call it that. So to make a long story short, you don't have to go and trying to find orphan antinuclei and invasion of this or that. Whenever you see anything in the thyroid gland, like here, that looks truly papillary, grossly or microscopically, you can diagnose cancer no matter what the thing is doing. In addition, papillary cancers, oh, I, don't, I hope we are lucky enough to one, but uh, papillary cancers also have uh, the epithelial lining cells often have a kind of a whitish clear appearance. And I don't want to um, make anything up because I don't really see it here. But look at how these nuclei look like there's like kind of like white uh, lighter material inside, like they have kind of a crust of a shell, but then the inside is white. Or here is even a better example. This is what they call orphan antinuclei and is due to an invagination of actual cytoplasmic material within the nucleus. So if I had a picture of orphan anti, I would probably put it on here. But uh, it doesn't matter because once you see that there are papillae within the thyroid gland, which these all are, which is defined as fibrovascular cores, possibly branching, surrounded by epithelial cells. Once you see true papillae within the thyroid gland, you can diagnose papillary cancer. Thank you very much.